the pirate Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Genix Elsewhere, and it's time to return to the secret, well, to escape from Monkey Island. Now, you remember last time we just got the map that Meat Hook had made. Not again. Couldn't just leave me alone, could you? Most pirates would be happy with a gorgeous inanimate figurehead. But no, you had to stick those accursed voodoo earrings into me. Well, here I am, an enchanted, talking, ticked off figurehead. Am I everything you hoped for? Hey, a talking figurehead. Hey, a talking monkey. Well, actually, I'm a mighty pirate captain. Besides, there's no such thing as a talking monkey. Says you. I've been everywhere in this cesspool of a tropical paradise, and I've seen everything. Much more than some grog-like, swilling nobody like you. Um, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. Suits me fine. Hey! Who painted me pink? Well, <laughs> she's a feisty one, isn't she? A statuesque lady of your beauty should have a necklace. Oh, how sweet. You remind me of the daughter your parents never had. Yeah, she's a bit of a... She's a bit of a... What is this compulsion you have to dress me up, you pantaloon freak? Oh, boy. Oh, do you need me to carry that big, heavy picture for you? Yeah, do you mind? You know what else would look good on me? Your blood on my hands. Say, you don't happen to know anything about the ultimate insult, do you? I got your ultimate insult right here. Sounds like a big yes to me. Do you know where it is? How the poop deck should I know? Get a load of this guy. Thinks just cause I'm attached to a ship, I know where every little two-bit piece of dirt of an island is. What a scupper licker. Ooh, look at me. I'm Guybrush Threepnorn. I'm a mighty stupid pirate. So she's good at the insults, isn't she? Interesting. Do you know what it looks like? I told you, you festering bucket of shark bait. Uh. I don't know anything about your supposed ultimate insult. Look at you, walking around like you've got a bow spread up your... Hey, what's this now? Yikes, this looks complicated. All this right. is your captain speaking. Prepare the ship for departure. Oh, great. 
No, 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 no. goings. Jambalaya Island, home of the ultimate insult. Jambalaya Island? What kind of name is that? Can you get us there, Mr. Cheese? Aye. Aye. Make it so. <clears throat> Elaine? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, boy. Oh, right. I forgot to kiss you goodbye. Cute. <laughs> no, you forgot to give the symbol back to me. Oh, yeah. Here. There we go. Well, I'm on my idea. Try not to get killed, killed, killed at the first here. here. What? Mr. Cheese, Cheese, wouldn't it be easier to sail around that Titan on the horizon? Well, that was a miserable journey. No cushy government job is worth this much grief. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky theme restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piped in music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. That's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and, um, uh, guard the ship. Uh, this place is going to hell. Alright. What? What was that? It said something. Chips. Uh, Alright. Community rowboat. Oh boy. Did we just have a scene change there? Brief. Look at the volleyball net. I can't seem to get the hang of volleyball. The ball keeps smacking me in the face and knocking me out. Um, that's because you're not hitting it, you nitwit. I'm gonna have to check that one out in a little bit. Star Buccaneers. Star Buccaneers Coffee, home of expensive espressos and gentrified java. Something I had to look at from outside. Let's see it again. I'm personally not a fan of Starbucks myself. It's an empty Starbuccaneers Grogachino cup. Hmm. It's an empty Starbuccaneers Grogachino cup. Okay. Now let's see, um... I don't think this is a self-serve establishment. Hmm. You don't happen to offer free refills, do you? You betcha, sir. I'll take care of that for you. Can't get enough of my sweet coffee goodness, can ya? Uh, just get me my Gragaccino, please. Alrighty, coming right up. Okay, um. Okay. 
That delicious mini bagel you're about to sample has Star Buccaneer's own Schmearwiz on it. A wonderfully delightful blend of artificial cream cheese and salmon lock bits with the convenience of a spray-on can. Um, great. We're giving away uh, free samples okay. today as a promotion, so please help yourself. Okay. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. Good gravy, that tastes horrible. I... I may... As much as I'd like to have one of my own, it looks a bit heavy to carry with me. Ugh, no. The last one I tried was really gross. Ah. Alright. Touristy stuff mostly. Lots of coffee and a Star Buccaneers logo coffee cup. I wonder if I can just take that cup. I think she'll notice if I try to take the whole bag. Mm. Sure, stuff mostly. It's an overpriced, trendy mug with the Starbucks Star logo, logo on it. There's a sale on you, baby. Oh my word. word! Really? Oops. My mistake. You almost gave me a heart attack! Oh, God. Actually. I wonder if I can talk Pardon to me. Them. Yes? Is this a little thing dangerous? Maybe they can't get any hydrated water. I would think so. I will say! Somehow I got ripped off! What? Some scummy pirate reason left us to wipe my coffee from my shopping bag! Can you believe that? Oh, no! And this place is supposed to be pirate free! Hey, what, what? Do you know where I find the pieces of the ultimate insults? Is this a new kind of fashion maker? No, it's a malevolent voodoo talisman of gut-wrenching power. I'm trying to stop it. 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 Stop it.
what kind of a pirate are you? A pirate? Moi? Heaven forbid, old bean. I'm just a humble tourist. Oh, boy. That's a great ensemble. Isn't it, though? My wife picked it out for me. It looks like a produce cart exploded on your arms. What are you doing? I'm admiring the craftsmanship of this statue of Jambalaya's most famous pirate, Tiny Lafitte. What made Tiny so famous? He was the friendly pirate of Jambalaya Island. He robbed from the bad and gave to the nice. And he always said please and thank you. Twice! He's the perfect symbol of the new, non-threatening Jambalaya Island. Ah. Uh... Was there really a tiny Lafitte, or was he dreamed up by someone's marketing department? Yar. Oh, he's real, all right. I hear his son lives across the bay or nothing at all. Ah, uh, I see. What happened to the top of the statue? Looks like someone gave Tiny a bad haircut. I'm not sure. Rumor has it that some vandalist pirates from Nutton at all stole the statue's hat, but I don't believe it. They do a pretty good job of keeping those types off of Jambalaya. I see. I'd rather not talk about Tiny right now. Fine. Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a fruit-flavored drink over at Planet Threepwood? No, it's a dangerous voodoo talisman of inexplicably soul-crunching power. Its pieces are supposed to be somewhere on Jambalaya Arr. Island. Ooh, a scavenger hunt! How thrilling! Maybe I can help. What do the pieces look like? One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Hmm... Nope, nothing comes to mind. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. A bronze pirate hat? That's interesting. Why? Take a good look at this statue, boyo. Ah. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Goodness. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Fair enough. Sorry to bother you. No bother at all, Obin. Well, that's actually been very helpful. Well, let's see. Uh, there's a great evil on this island. I've got to find it. Where is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what's this? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't know if I want to look at this. Is it... Oh, it's Stan! Marketing materials for timeshares. Stan's new building sure is festive looking. I see you've noticed our colorful brochures. Take one, they're free. That's the kind of guy I am. Just giving things away. Alrighty. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a pretty standard desk drawer. Stan's desk is outside. That can't be good for the finish. Now that's a beautiful beach. Darn. If you think it's pretty now, imagine how much nicer it'll be with the addition of three dozen picturesque timeshare holiday bungalows. How could that possibly be an improvement? Variety, son, the spice of life. An empty beach is about as exciting as a blank canvas, know what I mean? Not really. You know, all these changes I think are perfect for Stan. All right. 
I have a feeling I got put up with something long-winded. And this is Stan we're talking about. So it's gonna be long-winded. Woohoo! Talk about your eye-openers! I feel like I just drank an entire coffee plantation, donkeys and all! Stan? Is that you? Why, yeah. if it isn't my old friend, yeah, Bob. It's Guybrush. Of course it is, of course it is. Welcome to Stan's Real Estate Emporium, where a deal's a deal and the real estate is real. Oh, boy. Tell me about these pamphlets. Do yourself a favor and read them. They're full of all sorts of great information about Stan's timeshares. Why is your desk outside? Ah, it's a beautiful day. How can you work inside on a day like this? I see. I thought you were selling life insurance. Turned into a dead end. Get it? Dead end. <laughs> Seriously, no money in it anymore. It just dried up. Why? All my clients were dying and becoming ghosts just to collect on their policies. Oh, well, gotta remain flexible, kid. Know what I mean? Timeshares are the wave of the future. Why are you really outside? Just a mm, small problem with the local vermin. It's the problem that's small. The vermin themselves are actually quite large. But it's nothing to worry about. It'll be taken care of right away. It's just a minor setback. What's important is that the timeshare units are, legally speaking, practically vermin-free. I see. Are you working for Ozzy Mandrel? Ozzy Mandrel? Let me tell you something about Ozzy Mandrel, kid. Ozzy Mandrel doesn't know squat about being a real entrepreneur. He doesn't know the thrill of haggling, the ecstasy of a hard-earned sale, the agony of a lost customer. All Ozzy wants are orderly lines of zombies queuing up to purchase his prefabricated, pre-priced, pre-processed garbage. I ask a kid, where's the fun in that, huh? Where's the love? He wouldn't hire you? Not even an interview. Aye, aye, aye. You're hawking real estate now? T -t -t Time shares, my good man. Looking for a second home? Investment property? A little extra income? Look no further. You can't afford not to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well, and for the next that. 24 I'm hours, happy. for just listening to my pitch, you get a coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Freepwood. Limit one per customer while supplies last. Void where prohibited by law and in the state of Wyoming. Give me the pitch. Smart decision, my friend. Right. You'll thank me after you've heard about this exciting opportunity. Stay with me. The full pitch takes just under three hours. Beep. Be prepared to be stunned by what I have to tell you. What's the best investment for your hard-earned well, cash? The stock market? No, too volatile. Duck food futures? No. Ducks have short lifespans. Porcelain figurines? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oops. Too fragile. What then? Two words. Time. Share. That's right. Real estate. Let me show you how a small investment today can compound into an incredible fortune in just a few short generations. Two hours, 57 minutes later. Oh, thank God. So, who's excited and ready to invest, huh? Uh, gosh, that sounds interesting, but I need to check with my wife first. You bet. Gotta check with the missus. Wouldn't want to wind up in the old doghouse. <laughs> right. I mean, where would the piranha poodles sleep? Right. Well, thanks for listening. Have this coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Threepwood from your old friend, Stan. All right. Good thing I had that coffee. Ever heard of something called the ultimate insult? Why, are you looking for one? Yes. Do you know where I can get it? Not just now, but perhaps I can acquire some. If the markup is substantial. How many units do you think I could push? Never mind. All right. I'll just be on my way. You can't afford to wait too long. This deal won't last. I wonder if there's still more. Hi, Stan. What can I do for you, young man? Tell me more about this timeshare deal. It'd be my pleasure, my pantaloon friend. You have to be touched in the head not to take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. As a bonus, just for listening to my pitch, I'll give you a coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Threepwood. Limit one per customer while supplies last. Void where prohibited by law and in the state of Wyoming. 
Ooh, stop right there. I'm not interested. Your loss. Yeah, I, I, I know. I'll just be on my way. Yeah. You can't afford to wait too long. This deal won't last. Yeah, no doubt on that. Okay. Oh, I think the Gragachino's wearing off. Yeah. Micro Froggery. Welcome to the finest micro groggery in town. Okay. Hi. Howdy. What can I do you for? I'd like a drink, please. You got some ID? No. Well, then I can't give you the good stuff, but I can give you this new low inebriation grog like beverage. It's called Grog Junior. We developed it here in our micro groggery for people just like yourself. It's got just enough alcohol in it to stun a skinny parrot. Well, what's the point of that? Here, try some and tell me what you think. Okay. Mm, maybe later. So, how's business? It's great! This is the only place in the entire Tri-Island area that people can come and get gourmet, freshly distilled grog. People come from all over to sample our 65 different variations of grog and grog byproducts. These include Snoot Groggy Grog, Green Grog, Dangerous Dark, Siren's Urine, named for its color, not contents, and of course, our award-winning Stale Ale. Every grog we have is distilled lovingly and individually by members of the Micro Grogger family. What about just plain old-fashioned grog grog? What are you, some kind of unsophisticated hick? Okay. So what is that thing over there with a saddle on it? That, my friend, is the menacing mechanical manatee. What the heck is a manatee? The manatee is a marine mammal that grazes on seagrass and other plant life in shallow waters. Oh, they are right. typically 9 to 10 feet long and weigh about 1,000 pounds. That doesn't sound menacing at all. Sounds more like a swimming cow. Oh? Arr. Will you try to snatch the grass out of a manatee's mouth and see how menacing it gets? All right. What is this mechanical manatee here for? Well, mostly for entertainment. But as a promotional special, we're currently giving away a Planet Threepwood coupon for a complimentary monkey mug meal to anybody who could ride the manatee at the highest setting. I see. And this manatee talk is too strange for me. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Why does this island seem so wholesome? Well, the inhabitants of this island, in conjunction with Ozymandrill Enterprises, oh have worked boy. very hard to keep this island friendly and clean and family compliant. Family compliant? Yeah. We don't have much use for those surly ragamuffins around here. here. They're not very good role models. Role models? You sound surprised. Say, so you're not one of those scruffy, undesirable pirates that are always scaring them with kids, kids, are you? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. I try to plant a tree and give insult sword fight, uh, grammar lessons to children every day. Well, good for you. All right. Have a nice day there. You too. That doesn't look so menacing. Uh... I'll just splatter some glue on here like this. Voila! A puddle of glue. Let's uh... Hi. Howdy! What can I do you for? So what's the deal with that manatee thing again? It's called the Menacing Mechanical oh. Manatee. I'd like to take a crack at writing that manatee thing. Alrighty, let's see what you got. I got okay, me. I'm going to start at the bedwetter setting, which shouldn't be any trouble for a stout young guy like you. Ready? Yep. Bring it on.
Yahoo! After we get this done, we'll call it an episode. Not bad! Okay, now let's increase the difficulty until we get to the top setting. Oh, we're still on two hours later. Oh boy. Woohoo! Random Sea Cowboy! I is it over yet? Almost. Three, two, one. You did it! Woohoo! You whoa, did whoa, it! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Whoa. I thought we'd lose you on the grazing frenzy setting, but you made it. You've joined an elite fraternity, my friend. Not many have survived their rides on the savage manatee. Come on over to the bar, partner, and I'll get you your monkey mug meal coupon. Here you go. Enjoy your prize. All right. So now I have two of them, I think. You're not saying anything. Yeah, I got two of them. Alright. We're gonna leave here. And we're gonna call it an episode. Alright. And... Next time round... We'll be uh, dealing with plant three foot here. Oi, mateys! Set sail for family fun at Planet Threepwood. See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood's most famous escapades. Taste culinary delights approved by genuine pirates. Hear beautiful pirate folk music. Feel your souls being gently ripped from your bodies by this restaurant of uncompromising evil! <laughs> Knock it off, Murray! Planet Threepwood is a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrel Enterprises. Well, at least Murray's working. Ladies and gentlemen, madames and messieurs, brigands and wenches, welcome to Planet Threepwood, the piratiest place on Earth. And on this Step note, inside and sample our fun filled, genuine. And on that note, it's time for us to say goodbye. Next time, we'll be entering into Planet Threepwood and we'll have a nice little talk with Murray. As always, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X elsewhere, inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other playthroughs I've done. Been working through games with Polica. I played through the other, of course, the other Monkey Island games. And this is the last of the LucasArts titles, and uh, I'll plan to pick up Tales from Monkey Island in the near future. I'm also working my way through several other games. A lot with all of a lot of them with Call of Cthulhu in the name, currently working on Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I do a series of runs through Monstrum. Just recently watched uh, another YouTuber slash Twitcher play, attempt to play the game. Haha, <laughs> that's uh, funny. Also working my way through uh, some other games. Working through the Mist series on the final game in the Mist series. And once those are done, I don't know what I'm doing next for those. Also working my way through Sierra Tiles, currently working on Shivers 2. Since uh, GOG released that a few not too long ago. And I'm working my way through the Doom franchise, currently on Final Doom. Starting a TNT uh, starting a Tony experiment on that one. And there's some other, and I'm also working through several point-and-click adventures. Currently working on the Dark Side Detective. Take care all! Watch out for them evil, not-so-friendly pirates. Arr! And take care all. Let's just say the game here and... Pirate Cuisine, prepared by genuinely...